So that's when the alarm started going off. Then we all just went outside. The resident of a Borman apartment complex on what happened during an overnight fire that killed a man. They are still searching for the cause. Now to a story that we've been following since first news this morning. And new tonight at 6, we're learning more about what it was like inside that building when the fire started. 27 First News reporter Dan Marcel talked to one man who was forced to run out of his apartment this morning. He's live in Borden with top story coverage at 6. Well, Stan and Julie, I'm here outside the Newport uh, Glen Apartments, and we spoke with both fire officials and residents who were here last night, and they say this was not an easy night for anyone. The call came in to the Boardman Fire Department around 1145 Tuesday night. A fire at the Newport Glen Apartments. When our news crews arrived on the scene, we found people standing on the lawn outside. And as I looked down the hallway, it was smoke coming from the carpet. So that's when uh, I, I came back in the house. I went and grabbed my grandma immediately told her it was time to go out. Investigators believe this all started in the kitchen of a second floor apartment. A 64-year-old male was pulled out of the building and rushed to the hospital where he later died. Another woman living in that same apartment was airlifted to the Akron burn unit. When smoke started to rise up to the third floor, the building had to be evacuated. You know, we know everybody here, so like, you know, we didn't see a lot of people outside that we normally see, so we told them what, what rooms to go to and everything. That's when we told them about the one guy, and I guess that's when they broke down the door and brought them all down. Fire Chief Mark Pitzer says evacuating each unit was a group effort. Fire departments from Canfield, Youngstown, Poland, and Beaver Township all rushed to the scene. That's a four-story building, so very labor-intensive. Uh, requires a lot of manpower to get through all those apartments uh, to get a primary all clear uh, on the, you know, on all the floors you know, inside that building. Chief Pitzer also says the best thing to do is to make sure you have a working smoke detector in your home and to check them regularly. If there is a fire, make sure you know two different ways to get out of your home. Now, we have just learned some new information tonight at 6 o'clock, the names of those two victims. The 64-year-old male that died at the hospital was Curtis Co Cochran, and the woman at the Akron burn unit was his wife, Elizabeth Cochran. She is currently listed in stable condition. For now, in Boardman, Dan Marcel, WKBN 27 First News.